Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Libra. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, taught me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Libra. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. If you would like to help support this channel, you can get a membership in the join section where you'll receive extra perks such as private readings and more in-depth tarot readings. All right, Libra. I scurry this bloodstone for you today, and the image I saw within the bloodstone was a owl. Owls have been coming out a lot lately, and then that owl changed from being that to a penguin, and then from that I saw a snowman. So, like I always say, you could have more than one spirit animal. Perhaps uh, an owl is your spirit animal, or penguins. The symbolism of an owl is spiritual enlightenment, being connected to the spiritual realms, psychic abilities, uh, being very intuitive. The symbolism of a penguin is that they are able to overcome the most harshest environments and they're able to overcome obstacles. And also they are very passionate and, you know, are very, um, very passionate for their family members. You know, they, they take care of their young and, you know, they have a very, you know, good relationship. Um, the snowman could be significant to you. Perhaps, you know, you enjoy building snowmen. Um, the, you know, you take it how it resonates. Perhaps something had occurred in winter. Um, you'll have to let me know in the comment section of how that applies to you. All right first card out was the four of wands so this is family gatherings this is uh, social interactions with family that was clarified by the strength card so I feel like you need a lot of strength in order to be around you know your family members you know like I say you know take it how it resonates you know um, perhaps are very annoying like this gnat flying around that I can't get rid of uh, perhaps they uh, they pester you like that and you need uh, like a lot of strength to be around them because you feel like they drain your energy Next card out is the Five of Wands, so perhaps when you guys are around each other, there's lots of fighting, there's arguments, there's disputes, perhaps they, you know, they go on attack mode on you, is the energy I feel here. Next card out is the Magician card, so there's manifestation here, there's someone here that manifests these fights, these arguments, there's someone within the family that always tries to start a fight when you're around, and they do that to cause you the Nine of Swords for you to be, you know, up with anxiety and have, you know, mental anguish. Next card out is the Knave of Swords. So this is someone that's very toxic. This is someone that like, kind of sits in the shadows and tries to like watch your downfall. You know, they hide at first, you know, that they're always spying on you, but they're always looking to, you know, see something bad happen to you. And I feel like they gossip and slander you a lot. It's a very negative energy. Next card out is Temperance. So this symbolizes balance, you know, a need for balance here. Next card out is the Seven of Cups, so this is lots of options here. This is uh, lots of choices. So I feel like this person has lots of choices and options, you know, not to act this way, but they always choose the wrong. Next card out is the Five of Coins. This is a uh, feeling abandoned, left out in the cold, and I feel like this is the energy that this person puts you in whenever you're around them. Next card out is the Eight of Coins. So uh, Eight of Coins in reverse. So this person's in this energy where they're very lazy. They don't put in hard work. They they just are very hateful energy because they never amount to anything themselves. And they see that you're amounting to greatness and that you put in hard work and that you are accomplishing things. And this person's, you know, very uh, jealous of that. So, you know, they try to blame you for their faults and their shortcomings. Next card out is the Six of Wands. So you're going to, you know, receive recognition. You're going to receive praise. And I feel like this person knows that you're going to you're gonna be receiving this. But, you know, don't let this energy, their negative energy, get to you. Know that you're going to receive, you know, recognition for your hard work. And, you know, you'll be getting, you know, compliments instead of, you know, spiteful words. Next card out for you is Violet, inter, intro prospection. So uh, when the Violet card comes out, you know, it's letting you know that uh, the violet itself, you know, symbolizes, you know, keeping to yourself, you know, very quiet energy. So it's letting you know to, you know, always be careful who you confide in, who you talk to, or, you know, letting know that your, your thoughts and your dreams about your, you know, what you're planning on doing. Um, it's letting you know at this time, you know, unless you get to know that person very well, be careful what you say to them at this time. 
Um, it has the medicinal benefit of helping heal cysts, uh, tumors of the female reproductive system. It's been helpful in cases of breast cancer. Um, it's also been, you know, good for fevers and like the burning feeling of the mind and heart. So, you know, take that how it resonates. Uh, the next card offer you was plant can sensitivity. So it's letting you know to surround yourself, you know, with medicinal herbs at this time, you know, uh, for, you know, helping with stress or, you know, whatever it is that, you know, you would like to apply it to, but, you know, to always, you know, have, you know, medicinal herbs around you. Um, I have lots of medicinal herbs and, you know, they're a great help and, you know, they have lots of symbolism and, you know, spiritual meaning. So it's letting you know to uh, have lots of connection to plants, you know, and their medicinal benefits. All right. Libra, if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.